Hey guys, just to let you know that this video is sponsored by Ant Keeping Depot. So in today's video, it's going to be a bit of a update on my Campanotus Nicobarensis and a bit of maintenance. Basically, I'm going to be removing their junk area, so their junk piles and everything. Um, they like to build theirs up in a specific location in the outworld. Um, among these rocks So I'm just gonna work my way around try and get them up the rocks as I can talk you through what's been going on with them and What they're being fed at the moment and How I'm generally getting on so I'll just get straight into it while you watch me Hoovering them in the background if you wondering how I do the hoovering I have a handheld Dyson and what I do is I just put the thinnest suction end on it, insert a piece of vinyl tubing into that, sellotape up all the other space and then the Dyson sucks all its power down that one tube and it's super handy. I have also distracted the ants with some sugary nectar liquids dotted around to distract them from the location that I'm wanting to hoover. But that aside, what am I feeding them? Well, they are eating so much and so often that I needed something a bit bigger and a bit easier than mealworms. They don't particularly like mealworms unless they're cut up. I don't particularly like cutting them up. Especially when they're big enough to do all that themselves with a different prey item. So they were, and still do sometimes, get fruit flies. As you can see here, I do put in a random selection of fruit flies. But their main food is going to be medium crickets silent medium crickets for my own sanity but yeah that's what they do and this colony or at least this species is really rather good for their size compared to the cricket with numbers aside they actually subdue the crickets very quickly and there's not much of a fight whatsoever. They're really, really good at doing it. It means I don't have to pre-harm the prey. They just go in and the ants take care of it all how they would if they come across something in the wild. And they do it all themselves with little fuss. But there is a lot of protein in the prey item and I am preloading the crickets with sugar water and grapes and lettuce and things but mainly sugar water and grapes is what I keep them alive on before they fed off so yeah you can it's really rather easy and I'm always looking for ways to make the hobby easier. Or at least when you've got more than one colony, you do need to streamline your daily and every other day schedules. Especially when your life is hectic and busy, you've got to figure it out. But this is what I mean here. Now, when you order medium crickets, you don't get all mediums. You get some large and you get a lot under medium size it's like a selection which is rather handy because it means you can buy a medium pre-pack box that will last you a month for a couple of quid and you'll have cricket sizes ranging for all your colonies so this is actually a pretty small cricket this isn't the average size cricket and uh, as you can see there will be nothing left of him there will be nothing left. It's really convenient and the ants love it. Now what they also love, and a lot, is 
sugar waters. In particular, this is a brand from Ant Antics. I think it's called Blue Raspberry Slushy from their summer range. It's been a big hit with all of my colonies and I would recommend it. If you've not had great success with other sugar waters in the past, try this one. You might be a winner. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed that this short update on my Campanotus Nicobarensis colony and I look forward to reading your comments. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the content and I'll catch you in the next one.